Bedosmaid. Bedosmaid is very strong. You can use it to build your house and your house will stand forever. In the heart of Nigeria's industrial landscape lies a story of ambition, resilience, and the unyielding spirit of one man. This is not just a tale of cement and steel, it is the journey of a visionary who dared to dream beyond the boundaries of his circumstances. It is a story rooted in the red earth of Newi, a town known for its entrepreneurial fervor, where every street corner echoes with the sounds of commerce and the aspirations of those who seek to rise above. This is the story of Samuel Ibeto, born in 1952 in the small town of Newi, Anambra State. From humble beginnings, Samuel grew up in a community where business was not just a means of survival, but a way of life. In Nenewi, often called the Japan of Africa F, or its vibrant commerce and industrious people, young Samuel learned early that success was not handed out. It was earned through hard work, determination, and a keen eye for opportunity. Nigeria in the 1950s and 60s was a nation in transition. As the country sought to find its footing after colonial rule, opportunities were few, and the path to success was anything but straightforward. Yet, it was within this challenging environment that Samuel Ibeto began to carve out his place in the world. Starting from the most modest of beginnings, Samuel's journey would eventually lead him to the heights of Nigeria's industrial sector, where he would challenge giants and reshape an entire industry. Ibeto cement was more than just a business. It was a symbol of one man's dream to transform not only his own life, but the lives of countless others. From the streets of Newi to the boardrooms of Lagos, Samuel Ibeto's story is one of relentless ambition and the pursuit of excellence. But this journey, like all great stories, is filled with trials, triumphs, and a rivalry that would come to define an era in Nigeria's industrial history. As we delve into the saga of Ibeto Cement, we uncover not just the story of a business, but the narrative of a man who embodied the spirit of Nigerian entrepreneurship. This is the story of Samuel Maduka Ibeto, a man whose legacy is etched into the very foundation of Nigeria's growth and whose name will be remembered as one of the true pioneers of African industry. This is his story. In the vibrant town of Newi, Anambra State, a place known as the Japan of Africa for its unmatched entrepreneurial spirit, the seeds of a remarkable journey were sown. This is where the story of Samuel Maduka Ibeto begins, in a community where commerce flowed as naturally as the rivers and where every family carried the hope of prosperity through hard work and ingenuity. Born on November 6, 1952, Samuel Maduka Ibeto came into a world where life was defined by the sweat of one's brow and the sharpness of one's mind. Newi, his hometown, was a place of bustling markets and industrious people, where the air was thick with the scent of opportunity and the sounds of business deals being struck. It was a place where a young boy could learn that success was not inherited, but earned, and that the key to a better life lay in one's ability to seize every opportunity, no matter how small. Samuel's early life was shaped by the realities of post-colonial Nigeria, a nation still finding its way after gaining independence. For many families, including the Ibetos, life was a daily struggle to make ends meet. There were no guarantees, no safety nets. But within this challenging environment, Samuel found his first teachers in the form of his parents and elders, who instilled in him the values of hard work, integrity, and an unyielding will to succeed. Education was not easily accessible, but it was highly valued. Samuel knew that it was his ticket to a different life, a life beyond the confines of his small town. He attended local schools, where he quickly distinguished himself as a diligent and intelligent student. His hunger for knowledge was insatiable, fueled by a desire to one day make a significant impact on his community. But education was only one part of Samuel's upbringing. The streets of Niwi were his second classroom, and the traders who lined its roads were his professors. From a young age, Samuel immersed himself in the world of trade. He would watch and learn as seasoned businessmen negotiated deals, 
balanced their books, and treated every transaction as a stepping stone to something greater. These early experiences would lay the foundation for his future endeavors, shaping him into a man who could see opportunities where others saw none. As a teenager, Samuel's involvement in the marketplace grew. He was no longer just an observer, he became a participant. Whether it was helping to transport goods or assisting with sales, Samuel was always eager to take on more responsibility. He was learning the trade from the ground up, understanding the dynamics of supply and demand, the importance of customer relations, and the value of building trust, a lesson that would become the cornerstone of his future success. Yet for all the lessons the marketplace offered, Samuel knew that his destiny was not limited to the streets of Nui. He had dreams, big dreams, of building something that would not only elevate him and his family, but also contribute to the growth of his community and country. The seeds of ambition had been planted, and they would soon grow into something far greater than anyone around him could have imagined. This was the beginning of Samuel Maduka Ibeto's journey, a journey that would take him from the humble streets of Niwi to the forefront of Nigeria's industrial revolution. But the path ahead was not an easy one. It would be a journey marked by challenges, triumphs, and the relentless pursuit of a dream that would ultimately transform the landscape of Nigerian business forever. In the heart of Newi's bustling market, where the pulse of commerce beat strong, Samuel Maduka Ibeto took his first true steps into the world of business. The boy who had once observed from the sidelines was now ready to learn the ropes of the trade firsthand. It was here, amidst the clamor of traders and the scent of oil and metal, that Samuel began his apprenticeship, a critical chapter in his journey that would lay the foundation for his future empire. Samuel's entry into the business world was not marked by grand beginnings. He started as an apprentice, a role that was both humble and essential. In Newi, where the spirit of entrepreneurship was passed down through generations, apprenticeship was a rite of passage, a tradition that taught young men the intricacies of trade, the value of hard work, and the importance of building relationships. For Samuel, this was more than just a job. It was a crucial education in the art of business. Every day, Samuel immersed himself in the tasks at hand. He learned how to identify different types of spare parts, understand their functions, and assess their quality. More importantly, he learned the art of negotiation, the dance of give and take that was at the heart of every successful transaction. His mentor, a respected trader in Newi, saw potential in the young apprentice and took him under his wing, teaching him not just the mechanics of the business, but also the unwritten rules that govern the market. Under the guidance of his mentor, Samuel learned that business was not just about selling goods, it was about understanding people. He observed how his mentor built relationships with suppliers, earned the trust of customers, and handled disputes with tact and diplomacy. These lessons would prove invaluable in the years to come as Samuel prepared to venture out on his own. But Samuel's apprenticeship was not confined to the hours he spent at the shop. Even in his free time, he was constantly learning, constantly planning. He filled notebooks with observations, ideas, and strategies. Dreams of what his own business might one day become. The apprenticeship was a period of intense growth for Samuel. A time when his entrepreneurial spirit was honed and sharpened, preparing him for the challenges ahead. After years of learning the trade, Samuel knew it was time to take a leap of faith. With the skills he had acquired and the small savings he had managed to put aside, he was ready to start his own business. It was a modest beginning, a small shop selling spare parts in the same market where he had once been an apprentice. But for Samuel, it was the culmination of years of hard work and the first tangible step toward achieving his larger dreams. The early days of Samuel's business were not easy. He faced stiff competition from established traders, struggled to secure reliable suppliers, and often had to work late into the night to make ends meet. Yet despite the challenges, he remained undeterred. He had learned from his apprenticeship that success was not guaranteed, but earned through persistence, adaptability, and a deep understanding of the market. Samuel's reputation grew quickly, 
Known for his honesty and reliability, he became a trusted figure in the market. Customers appreciated his straightforward dealings, and suppliers knew they could count on him to fulfill his commitments. These relationships were the lifeblood of his business, and Samuel nurtured them with care, knowing that trust was the most valuable currency in any trade. As the years passed, Samuel's business began to thrive. His small shop expanded, his clientele grew, and with each passing day, he moved one step closer to his dream of building something truly significant. The boy who had started as an apprentice was now an entrepreneur in his own right, carving out a place for himself in the competitive world of Nui's business landscape. Samuel Maduka Ibeto's early ventures were more than just a means to an end. They were a testament to his vision, resilience, and the lessons he had learned during his apprenticeship. These were the building blocks of his future success, the first steps on a journey that would soon take him far beyond the markets of Nui. Little did he know, the road ahead would lead him to the heights of Nigeria's industrial landscape, where his name would become synonymous with innovation, determination, and the relentless pursuit of excellence. As Nigeria emerged from a period of rapid development in the mid-1990s, the nation's infrastructure demands were soaring. Amidst this backdrop of economic transformation, Samuel Maduka Ibeto saw an opportunity that would alter the course of his life and redefine the landscape of the Nigerian cement industry. This was the dawn of a new chapter, where vision met opportunity in the form of Ibeto Cement Company Limited. In 1997, Samuel took a bold step, founding Ibeto Cement Company Limited. With a keen eye for emerging trends and a deep understanding of Nigeria's growing construction sector, he embarked on a venture that began with the importation of cement. The country, still heavily reliant on imported cement due to limited local production, presented a lucrative opportunity for those daring enough to seize it. The early days of Ibeto Cement were a whirlwind of activity. Samuel's commitment to quality and efficiency was evident in every aspect of the business, from sourcing high-quality cement from Europe to managing the complex logistics of importation through the Apapa ports and Bundu, Ama in Port Harcourt, Samuel was deeply involved in every step of the process. His hands-on approach ensured that the company's products met the highest standards, a crucial factor in gaining the trust of Nigerian builders and contractors. Samuel's strategic vision quickly paid off. Ibeto Cement became a trusted name in the industry, recognized for its reliability and superior quality. Builders across Nigeria began to rely on Ibeto Cement for their projects, and the company's reputation grew rapidly. Samuel's innovative marketing strategies and competitive pricing set Ibeto Cement apart in a market previously dominated by imports. However, the path to success was not without its hurdles. Samuel faced a series of challenges that tested his resolve. The cement importation business was fraught with logistical hurdles, from dealing with shipping delays to managing the intricate web of import regulations and tariffs. Each obstacle was a test of his business acumen and perseverance. The early operational challenges were significant. Managing inventory and ensuring timely delivery were constant battles. Samuel's approach was hands-on and detail-oriented. He was often seen on the ground, troubleshooting problems and finding solutions. His ability to stay calm under pressure and make quick decisions was critical in keeping the business running smoothly. Samuel's commitment to his customers was unwavering. He frequently visited construction sites, gathering feedback and ensuring that his product met the high standards expected by the industry. His focus on customer satisfaction helped solidify Ibeto Cement's reputation as a reliable and high-quality choice for construction projects. As Ibeto Cement gained traction in the market, the company's growth accelerated. Samuel's vision of a larger, more integrated operation began to take shape. New distribution channels were established, and the company's footprint expanded across Nigeria. The early challenges were gradually met with success, and Ibeto Cement began to solidify its position as a key player in the industry. 
By the early 2000s, Samuel's gamble had begun to pay off. The foundation of Ibeto Cement was firmly in place, and the company was well on its way to becoming a significant force in Nigeria's cement industry. Samuel Maduka Ibeto had transformed his initial vision into a thriving business, navigating early challenges with resilience and foresight. The journey of Ibeto Cement was just beginning, and the future promised even greater opportunities and challenges. With the early challenges behind him and the company's reputation established, Samuel was poised to embark on the next phase of his journey. A venture that would bring Ibeto Cement from importing products to becoming a major player in Nigeria's cement manufacturing industry? The story of Ibeto Cement was far from over, it was about to enter a new chapter of growth and transformation. As Ibeto Cement carved out its niche in Nigeria's import market, Samuel Maduka Ibeto's vision extended beyond merely importing cement. Recognizing the potential for local production and the growing demand driven by Nigeria's infrastructure boom, he embarked on an ambitious project that would not only cement Ibeto's place in the industry, but also contribute significantly to the country's economic development. In the early 2000s, Samuel's foresight led him to a transformative decision to establish a cement manufacturing plant in his hometown of Niwi. This move was not just about expanding the business, it was about fulfilling a vision of industrial self-sufficiency and contributing to his community. The establishment of the Newi plant marked a pivotal moment for both Ibeto Cement and the local economy. The construction of the Newi plant was a monumental task, involving substantial investment and coordination. Samuel was deeply involved in every aspect of the project, from selecting the site and sourcing equipment to overseeing construction and hiring staff. His commitment to excellence was evident in the state-of-the-art facilities that began to take shape. By 2002, the Ibeto cement plant in Newi was operational, and the impact was immediate. The plant not only bolstered Ibeto's production capacity, but also created numerous job opportunities for the local population. It was a symbol of progress, showcasing Samuel's dedication to both his business and his community. With the new manufacturing plant in operation, Ibeto Cement expanded its reach and influence. The company's commitment to quality and reliability quickly made it a preferred choice for major construction projects across Nigeria. From highways and bridges to residential buildings, Ibeto Cement was now an integral part of the nation's development. Samuel's strategic move into manufacturing solidified his reputation as a visionary leader. His ability to navigate the complexities of the cement industry and adapt to changing market conditions set Ibeto Cement apart from its competitors. As the company grew, Samuel's influence expanded beyond the confines of his own business, earning him respect and recognition within Nigeria's broader industrial landscape. The success of the Newi plant was not just a personal achievement for Samuel, it was a boon for the entire community. Ibeto Cement funded numerous local development projects, including schools, healthcare facilities, and infrastructure improvements. Samuel's philanthropic efforts reflected his belief in using business success as a means to uplift and support those around him. As Ibeto Cement continued to grow, its distribution network expanded to cover more regions across Nigeria. The company's commitment to timely delivery and consistent product quality ensured that it remained a trusted partner for builders and contractors nationwide. Samuel's strategic vision and operational excellence had laid the foundation for a thriving enterprise. By the mid-2000s, Ibeto Cement had established itself as a major player in Nigeria's cement industry. Samuel Maduka Ibeto's journey from a modest import business to a leading manufacturer was a testament to his unwavering determination and innovative spirit. The rise of Ibeto Cement was not merely a business success. It was a symbol of how vision, hard work, and strategic thinking could transform industries and communities alike. As Ibeto Cement continued to make its mark on Nigeria's industrial landscape, the company's story was one of progress and promise. The foundation had been laid, and the future held the promise of even greater achievements and challenges.
Samuel Maduka Ibeto's legacy was just beginning to unfold and the story of Ibeto Cement was poised to enter a new chapter of growth and innovation. The success story of Ibeto Cement, marked by rapid growth and industrial achievement, was about to face a formidable challenge. As Nigeria's cement industry evolved, a new rival emerged on the scene, one whose ambitions would ignite a fierce competition that would test the resilience of Samuel Maduka Ibeto and his company. This was the dawn of a rivalry that would reshape the industry. The rise of Dangote Cement In the late 2000s, Aliko Dangote, a prominent Nigerian entrepreneur, entered the cement industry with a vision as grand as Samuel Ibeto's. Dangote Cement, a subsidiary of the Dangote Group, launched an aggressive expansion strategy that would redefine the market dynamics. Unlike Ibeto Cement, which initially focused on importing cement, Dangote Cement invested heavily in local production. The construction of massive plants, including the Obajana Cement Plant in Kogi State, marked a new era in Nigeria's cement sector. Dangote Cement's entry into the market was marked by competitive pricing and an aggressive marketing strategy. By producing cement locally at a lower cost, Dangote Cement quickly gained a significant market share. The company's ability to undercut competitors on price created a price war that began to erode Ibedo Cement's position in the industry. The rivalry was not just a contest of market share, it was a battle for dominance in the Nigerian cement landscape. The intensifying competition took a toll on Ibeto Cement. The company faced mounting pressures as Dangote Cement's aggressive pricing and expansive reach eroded its market share. Samuel Ibeto's challenges were compounded by the Nigerian government's policy changes, which added another layer of difficulty to an already strained situation. In a significant blow to Ibeto Cement, the Nigerian government, under President Olusegun Obasanjo, imposed a ban on cement imports in 2006. This policy was designed to promote local production and reduce dependency on foreign products. For Ibeto Cement, which was still heavily reliant on imported cement, this decision was devastating. The ban forced the company to shut down its import terminals in Port Harcourt and Lagos leading to massive financial losses and job cuts. Desperate to salvage his business, Samuel Ibeto took the Nigerian government to court, challenging the legality of the import ban. The legal battle was prolonged and arduous, draining the company's resources and diverting focus from its core operations. As the court proceedings dragged on, Ibeto Cement's financial situation worsened and its market position continued to decline. Internally, Ibeto Cement grappled with operational inefficiencies and mounting financial difficulties. The company's production processes were not as streamlined as those of its competitors, making it challenging to compete on price. Limited access to financing further hindered the company's ability to modernize its operations and expand its capacity, exacerbating the challenges posed by Dangote Cement's dominance. The situation worsened with allegations of smuggling and tax evasion against Ibeto Cement. In 2007, the federal government accused the company of violating the import ban and illegally bringing cement into the country. The government seized Ibeto's products and suspended its import license, further crippling the company's operations. Despite the company's insistence on compliance, the damage to its reputation and financial stability was significant. As the years progressed, the cumulative impact of competition, legal battles, and policy changes took its toll on Ibeto Cement. The once thriving plant in Niwi now stood as a shadow of its former self. Production slowed, and many workers who had once depended on the company for their livelihoods were laid off. The vibrant symbol of progress and promise had become a stark reminder of the challenges that had beset Samuel Ibeto's enterprise. Despite the setbacks, Samuel Ibeto remained determined to keep his company afloat. He sought to diversify his investments and explore new avenues for growth, hoping to stabilize the business amid the intense competition. However, the odds were increasingly stacked against him as Dangote Cement continued to dominate the market, leaving little room for smaller players to thrive. The rivalry with Dangote Cement had reshaped the industry, 
and Ibeto Cement's decline was a poignant reminder of the volatility and challenges inherent in the business world. The story of Ibeto Cement was one of ambition, resilience, and the harsh realities of competition. While the company's prominence in the Nigerian cement industry had diminished, the legacy of Samuel Maduka Ibeto's journey remained a testament to the complex interplay of vision, competition, and perseverance. In reflecting on the legacy of Samuel Maduka Ibeto, we are reminded that the true measure of a person's impact is often found in the ripples they create long after their journey has ended. The story of Ibeto Cement, with its highs and lows, serves as a poignant reminder of the complexities of entrepreneurship, the trials of competition, and the enduring power of vision and perseverance. Samuel Ibeto's legacy is more than just a historical account. It is a living testament to the transformative power of dedicated leadership and social responsibility. While the name Ibeto Cement might not dominate the headlines as it once did, the echoes of Samuel Ibeto's contributions continue to shape lives and communities. His investments in education, healthcare, and local infrastructure have laid a foundation for future growth and progress. Those who knew Samuel Maduka Ibeto personally often speak of his unwavering commitment to his community and his remarkable ability to inspire. His character was marked by humility, resilience, and an unyielding belief in the potential of Nigeria and its people. These qualities were not only the driving force behind his business endeavors, but also the cornerstone of his philanthropic activities. The true legacy of Samuel Ibeto is reflected in the lives he touched and the communities he uplifted. Schools filled with eager students, clinics providing vital health services, and infrastructure projects enhancing daily life are all part of his enduring impact. These achievements are a testament to his belief that success is not solely measured by financial gain, but by the positive change one can effect in the world. In the face of modern challenges and evolving market dynamics, Samuel Ibeto's story remains a source of inspiration. His journey illustrates that the spirit of entrepreneurship is not just about navigating economic landscapes, but also about fostering a culture of innovation, resilience, and social responsibility. For today's entrepreneurs, his life offers a blueprint for balancing ambition with a commitment to making a meaningful difference. As we look towards the future, the legacy of Samuel Maduka Ibeto serves as a beacon of hope and a reminder of the power of perseverance and generosity. His story is a testament to the impact one individual can have on an entire industry and community. While the landscape may change and new challenges will emerge, the principles of vision, resilience and dedication remain timeless. Samuel Ibeto's journey is a lasting reminder that, through commitment and passion, one can indeed shape a better world for generations to come.